Hey everyone, NWA Prepper here. You need to train. You gotta practice. We all learned that practice makes perfect from our, uh, our loved ones, our teachers, our parents, our grandparents. Practice makes perfect. That goes for anything. Absolutely anything. That goes for firearms training, which is what prompted today's thoughts. Medical stuff, you've got to practice it. You know, if you play a sport and you want to be any good at it, you've got to practice. That, that's just the way it works. So, with that being said, what are you practicing? Are you practicing? For me, I just came from a pistol class. And it was a basic class. So I and I'm not I'm not a pistol expert. Um, so for this class, oh, I forget my stickers. Black rain ordinance. So for this pistol class, it's pretty basic. Um, there's no other than talking about getting off the X and or mo moving and shooting and and things. It was mostly just to make sure everyone was still proficient to put rounds in the right direction with a little bit of accuracy. Really stressed on the safety some holster management uh, from some coming out of the holster some a real basic class which was wonderful because the basics are the foundation of everything you know they're the foundation of buildings they're the foundation of skills and so if you're going to have a skill if you're going to build a building if you're going to build something then you need to build the foundation and maintain the foundation or it will crumble down. So no matter what it is, whether it's cooking practice, whether it's practice washing the dishes without a dishwasher, at a campground, in the backyard, however that is, practice. So you get better at it. So you get more experienced at it. Not that you enjoy it. It is 94 degrees and I am a fat man. It was very hot. Very hot. Uh, very uncomfortable. Very dirty. Dust and wind and dirt going everywhere. Uh, lots of people kicking up, you know, kicking up dirt. Laying down, rolling around in the dirt. And that's what, that's what practice needs to be. It doesn't need to be practice in 75 degree shady weather in the shade. Just rained a little bit so there's no... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Nothing I can do about it, I guess. So there's nothing to make things complicated. Um, you know, that's... That's practice, absolutely. But that's not necessarily the kind of practice that you need. I don't know. I just want you to be practicing things. And certainly firearms is, a, is a, my favorite thing to practice. Tomorrow we're having a class with my mag group and we're doing uh, moving patients. You know, we're going to use litters. We're going to use a door that I got. We're going to use carries without thing, improvised carries and carry them by their arms and their legs. We're going to put them on our shoulder if we can, you know, those kinds of things. And we're going to practice those. Now, we're not going to practice them until people wear out. We're not going to put them on a litter and make the two guys carry them a mile. We're not going to do that. But we're also not going to go 50 feet. It's got to be enough that you learn things. You learn that to go under uneven territory, you need to 
you need to be prepared to support this way and move this way or you know maybe we should work more on going around things or altitude changes up and down those are the things that you want we want to learn we want to practice we want to discuss and we want our bodies and our minds to experience them now they're not going to carry me around but they're not going to carry Cap Gun either. You know, because he's a little skinny guy. A short skinny guy to boot. And the same goes for me. Even when I'm teaching the class, I'm still going to do it with him. And I, even though it may be I'm doing it to, to show them, I use the edge method when I teach. Explain what we're doing. Demonstrate it by me showing them, guiding them through it, them doing it with me, and then I enable them to do it on their own. Edge, E-D-G-E. -E. Explain, demonstrate, guide, and enable. That is how you teach a skill. And so for that to happen, number one, I need to know how to do it. That is certainly not a social distancing activity there. And, you know, it's, it's practice. Even if you think you're really good at something, it certainly never hurts to practice it some more. Come out of your holster a thousand times. Every time you get a new holster, come out a thousand more. I've got snap cap cartridges that, uh, and a training magazine that I've got the bottom colored that I use for training, for drawing out of my holster. You know, I've got training expired medical stuff that I use for training dirty bandages that have been on the ground and on the dirt that I use to practice that and that's a skill that needs practicing anyway I'm, I'm done griping I mean I'm not griping I'm just sharing the importance that you need to practice things you need to keep them in mind you need to keep building those skills and it comes easier if you keep that foundation good and strong What's, what is that parable about? If you build your house on the sand, it'll crumble away. But if you build it on the rock, then it's firm and withstanding. That, of course, of course, comes from from you know believing in God and and making Him your rock. But it also comes for other things too. It covers everything. So get out there and practice. It doesn't have to be miserable, but the more out of your comfort zone you can get, sometimes the more you learn. Thanks for watching, everyone. Let's get ready.